Ah, greetings and welcome to our weekly educational rounds here at Seclair, an integrative holistic psychiatric facility where we treat people we do not necessarily treat diagnoses. My name is Jim Miller, my arm of behavioral health therapist, and today I'm joined by two of my colleagues. On my left would be... My name is Ashley, I'm a PA student from St. Francis University. And on my right... Uh, John, I'm a PA student from Seton Hill University. And during these particular broadcasts, what we try to do is present some useful information that perhaps you can take and incorporate in your life and uh, increase your overall wellness, help you live life out loud, participate, participate, be in every moment and live in every moment, Ashley. However, it's sometimes what we have in people's lives. People's lives tell me they're so consumed by what type of, what type of energy? Negative energy. Negative energy. What would negative energy be, John? Um, bad thoughts, mm. worries. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And what would negativity? If somebody asked you about negativity in people's lives, what do, what would you say, Ashley? I think it has a lot to do with some stress, some maybe anxiety about fear. You know. Mm -hmm. Things of that nature. Sure, sure. When we get into the negativity, John, we think of the have tos, the need tos, I musts, the the individuals that people that are in your life. People are in your life. The, do you have any negative people in your life? Mm -hmm. You do. Mm -hmm. Okay. How about you, John? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Negative people in your life. So let's talk a little bit of, and I'm sure that everyone out there has a little bit of darkness about them, some negativity, perhaps even when they wake up in the morning. Quite often we've talked about how people can ruin their day even before they open their eyes, John, by thinking of the things that they have to do that day rather than things that, that they can do or things that they're grateful for. So that's easy, you know, you just tell somebody to cheer up or snap out of it or stop that, right? Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> so what, the, what, what, what practical, useful advice or things could we give to people that incorporate in their life, John? Um, just uh, stepping back. Stepping back from? Just the situation. If there's a situation where you um, have some negativity, you can step back from it mm -hmm. and kind of observe mm -hmm. it from like an observer's type of view. An observer's type of view. Okay. And being able to label and describe what's going on. So you're talking about negative people in your life. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's your choice to be around them? Yeah. It's your choice to be around negative people? Yeah. Okay. So is that a choice that, that somebody would, would willingly make? Uh, I don't think so. Uh-huh. So when we talk about sources of negativity <clears throat> in people's lives, Ashley, what's the biggest source of negativity? I think themselves. Absolutely themselves. So for everybody watching here, uh, I hope you're not offended, but you can be if you choose. Uh, you're the only, you're the biggest source of negativity in your life as you've given your choices away. So again, what are, what are some of the things that some people can do, John, to, to remove some of this negativity in their life? Oh, forget what other people say. Oh, Tell me more about that. Um, we go through life with a lot of expectations and obligations of others, and sometimes we may fear what uh, they approve or don't approve of, so we go along with what they what okay. they say rather than what we feel in our own hearts. So sometimes when we're going through life and we're attempting to live up to the unrealistic expectations of others, mm -hmm. that creates a great deal of negativity in our life. What else? What else about the about the negative people? What the, what would you do? What would you do to counteract that? Um, you know, hang around positive people. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. What a novel idea. Yeah. So how do you do that, John? Um, hang around people that, you know, aren't necessarily, um, you know, negative. Mm -hmm. Um, look for others that want to provide encouragement. So you, so you look for, so if I was interested in, uh, playing golf, I probably wouldn't join a bowling league, would I? Okay, so the idea is to be around like-minded people, be around people who, who share your same type of thoughts and sentiments, right? So what yeah. else? Uh, and stop complaining. Stop complaining, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so who wants to hear misery? Well, what, what's, what's, what's the main qualification of a negative person? What's, what's the main attribute of a negative person? Uh, just being negative and making excuses. And they complain all the time. Mm -hmm. You ever met anybody like that? Nothing's yeah. ever right? They just complain, 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 complain. And remember, the main thing here is it is your choice. 
You have a choice in this. Remember, you are the energy source for the negativity in your life. Absolutely. And the sooner we accept that, the sooner then when we can have some change. So what are some of the ways about uh, removing negativity that you can think of, Ashley? Some pause, some, some actual ways that people can incorporate. Um, so especially in relationships, one way you can do this is to set clear boundaries while someone may be having a bad day or expressing negativity. Um, you have to do the favor for yourself to express to them that if they can't be positive or respectful, then you can't be around them, and that's okay to do that. And that actually means having respect for yourself, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Respect for yourself that that's a, that's, that's a relationship you choose not to participate in. What is that word again? Choice? Choice. So you can choose not to participate, can you not? What else could, what, what else could people do in their lives? So for negativity within yourself, um, you can focus on what you are, not what you are not. Wow. Because a lot of the time you do focus on what you're not, mm -hmm. and that <clears throat> just brews the negativity. So how, many, how much time does, do people consume by saying what they don't have rather than what they do have? I think a lot. Well, sure. So what would you, what would you do to somebody like that? I don't have an Xbox. I don't have an iPad. Well, what do you have? What are you grateful for? Mm-hmm. What are you grateful for? Right, mm -hmm. absolutely. So sometimes, and what, if, what if I was just a spoiled little snot and I said nothing? What do you have to be grateful for? Nothing. So what would you do then? Well, I'd start maybe asking them what is in their life and start making them realize, you know, that you do have yeah, things absolutely. in your life. So you start, how do you start your day off? Well, most people say, I woke up and it was raining. So the first thing you would say, John, would say, well, I, what I heard you say, that you woke up. Okay, so what we do is we try to look for the positives in people's lives. Okay, so if you look at a, if you look at a, let's say a bad doctor, a bad nutritionist, a bad therapist, a bad coach, uh, what do they do? They, they, they would go through your diet, they would go through your life, and they would start removing negatives, right? Mm -hmm. Who likes to be told what to not to do? Do no. you? No. No, of <laughs> course not. So if we went to John, okay, John, we're going to fix you. First of all, here's what you've got to eliminate from your life. It's not a, not a very pleasing prescription, is it? No. So <clears throat> what a good therapist, what a good doctor, what a good nutritionist, what a good coach will do is begin to add positives into your life rather than, rather than removing negatives. So just to illustrate a little point here, would you put some, put some negatives in there? <clears throat> okay, that's negative people. Negative people in your life. That's negative thinking. Perhaps, perhaps there's some poor, poor nutrition in your life. Okay. Perhaps there, perhaps there's not, uh, perhaps there's not enough sleep. Perhaps you're not getting enough sleep. Perhaps you're watching, perhaps you're watching the news. Perhaps you're watching the news every night before you go to sleep. Tell me, tell me, is there anything on the news that uh, has pleased you lately, John? No. Okay. So what you're doing, you're willing, you're willingly participating in that negativity. Are you not? Are you not? So what, what do we want to do? Do we want to do? We want to. We want to begin to introduce positives into life. Do we not? Mm -hmm. So let's add. Let's add getting to sleep at a decent hour at night. Let's add that. Okay. okay. So sooner or later. Okay. We add that. We add some positivity. We add a little going to sleep at night. So rather than eliminating that uh, that bowl of ice cream, uh, let's start by adding a, a big glass of water with each meal. Okay. Let's start off by adding a big glass of water with each meal. Okay, so let's say let's say the watching the news gets you upset. All the terrible things that are going on in the world. Let's be in recovery from the news. Let's be in recovery from the news. So at night, sit down with your partner, uh, your spouse, your children, and talk about things that you're grateful for. So what's that, John? Uh, pushing out the negative. Thoughts. So we're pushing out we're pushing out the negative things in your life. So sooner or later, if you begin to add enough positives into your life, there won't be any room for the negatives. So rather than eliminating the negatives, my suggestion would be to add positives into your life, add positive things. And that's my wish for you. And that's my wish for you, John, is to be to be able rather than concentrate on removing the negatives, which is a negative thinking in itself, is it not? Mm -hmm. So we concentrate on the positives. I love what you had to say about thinking about what we are rather than what we are not. Okay. So, and again, we hope that you'll be able to incorporate this in your life and perhaps have some avocados too. Avocados make wonderful guacamole. I would suggest that to anybody. That's a real positive in your life. And as always, we offer a pre free prescription at the end of every podcast. Fruits, nuts, and vegetables. Unplug your television and take up fishing. 
And for a truly mindful experience, we ask people to fish without bait, a lifetime without definitive expectations. Your assignment today, as always, is to be good to yourself and show a kindness to another. And until then, I'm Jim Ellermeyer. Namaste.